What's up, YouTube? CJD here <clears throat> from Chris's Junkyard Designs. Well, I opened up a bunch of stuff that I got in today, so I figured I'd show you guys while I have it all out here. I've um, got them all polished up and ready to show you guys. So, got some good stuff here to, for you to look at. So, start out with this um, 56 Ford F100 from the D case. Awesome truck. Um, now that I think about it, I should have grabbed another one. I'm going to grab another one um, to do a weathered effect on. This This is a perfect vehicle to do a weathered effect on. Um, change the wheels and do a nice, already got that rusty color on it. So but this is a beautiful F100. I love collecting this um, casting. I have a few of them, which I've shown already, I believe. And um, I think the mental health awareness challenge I showed the ones that I had but now we got a new one for the collection which is awesome the moon eyes is awesome I hope they do this same thing in like a yellow like the traditional yellow and black would be awesome but I like this one I like the red it's something different it's like rust color but really nice really nice and then I finally got this beauty another casting I love collecting a Dodge van H.W. Cart Company. I think that's pretty cool. The Castro Hoosier labels. Full um, tampos in the front. <clears throat> Nothing in the back, but it's got front and sides, which is cool. Definitely a nice truck. Fun one to customize. I customized ones for um, Hewitt's. It was fun doing the go-kart and everything like that one to do beautiful headlights all done up and glass nice purple color beautiful car okay and then we have a 73 bmw race car i like this one this one's cool looking too This would be a cool car to customize too. For some some reason this is screaming the Gaslands build for me too. This looks like a be a cool Gaslands car, just the shape of it, maybe with some big tires on it. I like it. It's pretty cool. If I see another one, I'll grab another one. Definitely a cool car. It's got a nice front end. It's nice. It's uh, got the inserted headlights from the windshield in there. I like it. Like I said, I gotta check to see if I have any more of that casting. I don't think I do. But I'll have to see. And we got this beauty, the 67 Ford GT40 Mark IV. This thing's awesome. The Gulf livery. Love this casting. The shape of that car is just awesome. No rear detail, but you get the headlights built in and you get side, top, roof, hood, everything. So, can't complain. It's really cool. The wheels look good on this one. The five spoke um, bronze colored ones. Really nice copper colored ones. Good match. I bet you some white rear wires will look sweet on this too, though. Very nice. Definitely awesome. Yes, you got all your racing stuff there, the Firestone, the Golf. That's just a Hot Wheels symbol. Really cool. I love this casting. They did such a good job on this casting. Next up, 59 Chevy Impala. This thing's pretty sick looking. 
um, beautiful paint job. Windshield really isn't too bad with this. I guess it goes, the gold is good with it. Pretty cool. I like it. Not a car I typically collect, and not a car I don't have. I don't even know if I have another 50 Chevy Impala. I'm not even sure if I have one. I had the Fast and Furious red and white when I was a 60 something, I believe, Impala, 62. I don't remember. But I don't think I have any of this casting either. But it's pretty cool. The paint's really nice on this car. Did a nice job with that. Gold. Pretty cool. And then this awesome 4 GT LM treasure hunt. This thing is awesome. I really like this. I can believe I have like five LMs. I love getting these 4 GT LMs. What an awesome looking car. All 4 GTs. I love 4 GTs. That is a beauty right there. Very nicely done. See the TH symbol? Stands right out. Love the wheels on it. Very nice car. Very nicely done. Okay, and then I got this ramp truck, the Hot Wheels Racing livery. So I had an idea while I was unboxing this to get a, a medium sized display case, not the one that holds one. See if I could find one and do like a little diorama with um, the Hot Wheels Racing. I can put a car up in there and I have a bunch of other ones in Hot Wheels livery. Maybe set up a little scene. I think that would look pretty cool. This is a beautiful truck. Very heavy casting. This ramp truck doesn't slide up and down or anything. But it is just about all metal except for the ramp. Do some nice detailing on that too if you wanted to. But this is a cool, heavy casting. Really nice. All right. And you guys got to see this monster truck I picked up. Town Hauler, I believe it is. It's called. I don't remember. Look at this thing. That real quick look at those tires the spikes that thing is mean looking I gotta if I find some more of these I gotta get them these would be awesome gas land builds those chains on those tires are wicked that front bumper is nice I really like this I want to keep one like this though so I want to find another one <clears throat> which I'm sure it will it just came out it's a brand new set so I don't think this is going to be one people are going to gobble up. We'll see. But the spikes in the tires, just an awesome, all around awesome car. Monster truck. Really like it. All that, the red on there, it looks like red splatter or something, blood splatter on there, I don't know. It's just wicked looking. Man. Yep. Awesome monster truck. Okay. So, I got this, and I said it wrong in my video earlier. It's not a... a Range Rover Defender, Land Rover Defender. It's a 1980 Toyota Land Cruiser. This is awesome. They did a great job on the weathering effect on this. You know what? I could probably, this has got rubber tires, put it on there. I think she'll stay. Look at that, huh? Gold livery all muddied up. Awesome. 
They did a great job. We're going to find one flaw in this car. Really nicely done. Got the jack in the back. Ladder. You got jerry cans up top. The shovel. The spare tire up top is, is rubber. And so is the one in the back. Awesome casting. They even dusted the windows. Make them look dirty. Beautiful looking mud on the tires. Did a real good job on that. Got the winch in the front. Just fully detailed. Snorkel. This looks great. I love this casting. And I got a couple more of this casting. I could show you the couple other variations that I have. This one's really cool too. In this uh, snow camo pattern. Same thing, the jerry cans, just different color now. Now they're green. Tires are awesome. Oh, the front end's different. I just noticed that. This one doesn't have the um, the front bumper that sticks out with the winch. Okay. So you didn't put that on this one, this variation. Hmm. Nope. Really cool. Really cool. And it doesn't have the ladder and the jack in the back either. So that's another difference. Which you can see. We'll put them next to each other real quick. I do have another one too. But uh, you see as it goes around. The top's the same. See the back. Yeah. That's different. Okay. And in the front doesn't have the big bumper. But still awesome looking. And I have one other variation. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? Oh, a piece fell off on the back. Guys, look at that. Huh. So it does have a ladder in the back. It fell off. Hmm. That's never happened before. I've had this in a case since I got it. So I'm going to have to glue that back on. And push back in there, but it might be loose. But the, there it is. It's in there. So it does have that. It just doesn't have the front bumper unless I fell off too. I don't think so. I don't know. Okay. And here's another variation. This one has the shovel on the hood this time. Um, definitely has the ladder and the jack in the back. Jerry can. Same thing. Rubber tires. A lot of stickers in the windows I like. And they've mounted the shovel, like I said, on the roof, which is awesome. So this is a very fun casting to collect. There's a couple more. I forgot what website they were on now. I don't know if it's One Boss Company or BT Diecast that has a few more that I don't have that I should pick up that I haven't seen anywhere else. This is awesome. I really like this casting. They all roll, of course. I love it. I love getting these off-road trucks with the with the stuff in the racks and the different accessories on it. It's just something about it. I love collecting ones like that. Now they have the Jeep Wranglers coming out like that. Okay, in the grand finale, this beauty I got today. RLC. The Mustang Boss Hoss. This thing is freaking gorgeous. What a beautiful car. That thing's shining. I gave her a quick polish. But um, really nice. It didn't really need it, but I did it. What a beautiful car. Beautiful color green. Of course, fully detailed. Of course, metal base. I love the tires on it, that red-lipped rubber tires, awesome, the stance of the car is awesome, could have did a little more detail on the motor, but it's not bad, and the engine bay has got the nice matte black inside there, really awesome, definitely did a good job on this one, this will go right into a case, 
for sure. Uh, definitely a beautiful car. Hopefully you guys snagged one. Love it. Can't wait to get the one tomorrow too. And hopefully next month or next month after we start getting our other ones we ordered a year ago. You remember what they are. There's three or four of them these guys still owe me. But yep, that's all I got for you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, love showing you guys this stuff. It's really fun. Um, hopefully you guys are finding stuff on the pegs by you. Thanks again for supporting the channel. Take care and have a great night.